In our previous videos, uh, we had this test for an inflection point, and the thing that we focused on was the case where the second derivative was equal to zero. But of course, we should acknowledge that it's also possible for us to have an inflection point and the second derivative does not exist. Let's see an example of that. So suppose that our function f of x is x to the 5 thirds, and let's say we want to figure out inflection points. Now the first derivative is going to be 5 thirds x to the 2 thirds. The second derivative is going to be, uh, it looks like that will be 10 ninths x to the minus 1 third power. So, so what do we notice here? That if we're trying to, uh, you know, so there's no values of which this is equal to zero. This is, of course, 10 over 9 x to the 1 third power. This is never equal to zero, but this is undefined at x is equal to zero. And so this is x is equal to zero. That's a potential inflection point. And if we think about it, f double prime of x is going to be positive if x is positive plug positive numbers into 10 over 9 x to the one third that's going to be positive the second derivative is going to be negative if x is negative plug negative numbers into the cube root the cube root of a negative number is also a negative number and so we see here that this does in fact give us an inflection point. So we so that this is a genuine if this or this, if either of these things happen, the second derivative is zero or the second derivative does not exist. Um, both of those cases are things we have to take into account when we're trying to identify inflection points.